of life, come and abide in us, and cleanse us from every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Attend unto my righteousness, O Lord. Give heed to my supplication. Give ear to my prayer, which comes not from deceitful lips. Let my judgment come forth from thy presence. Let mine eyes behold uprightness. Thou hast proved my heart. Thou hast visited me in the night. Thou hast tried me by fire, and unrighteousness was not found in me, so that my mouth might not speak of the works of men. For the sake of the words of thy lips have I kept the ways that are hard. Direct my steps in thy path, so that my footsteps may not be shaken. I have cried, for thou hast heard me, O God. Incline thine ear to me, and hear my words. Show thy marvelous mercies, O thou that savest them that hope in thee, from them that resist thy right hand. Keep me as the apple of thine eye, O Lord. Thou shalt shelter me in the shelter of thy wings from the face of the ungodly that oppressed me. My enemies surrounded my soul. They enclosed themselves in their own fat. Their mouth had spoken pride. They that cast me out have now encompassed me. They set their eyes to look down on the earth. They seized me like a lion ready for his prey and like a young lion dwelling in hidden places. Arise, O Lord, overtake them and trip their heels. Deliver my soul from the ungodly, thy sword from the enemies of thy hand. O Lord, from thy few separate them from the earth in their life. And their belly was filled with hidden treasures, and they were satisfied with sons and the remnants they left to their babes. But as for me, I shall be seen in righteousness before thy face. I shall be satisfied when I see thy glory. Unto thee, O Lord, have I lifted up my soul. O my God, I have put my trust in thee. Let me not be put to shame, neither let my enemies laugh me to scorn. Yea, for none of them that wait on thee shall be ashamed. Let them be ashamed that transgress without cause. Make thy ways known to me, O Lord, and teach me thy paths. Lead me in thy truth and teach me, for thou art God my Savior. And on thee have I waited all the day long. Remember thy compassions, O Lord, and thy mercies, for they are from everlasting. Remember not the sins of my youth and mine ignorance. According to thy mercy, remember thou me for thy goodness sake, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord, therefore will he set a law for them that sin in the way. He will guide the meek in judgment. He will teach the meek his ways. All the ways of the Lord are mercy and truth for them that seek his covenant and his testimonies. For thy name's sake, O Lord, pardon my sin, for it is great. Who is the man that fears the Lord? He shall set a law for him the way which he has chosen. His soul shall dwell among good things, and his seed shall inherit the earth. The Lord is the strength of those who fear him, and his covenant shall be made known to them. Mine eyes are ever toward the Lord, for he shall pluck my feet out of the snare. Look upon me and have mercy on me, for I am only begotten and poor. The afflictions of my heart are multiplied. Deliver me from my necessities. Look upon my lowliness and my trouble and forgive all my sins. Look upon my enemies, for they are multiplied and they hated me with an unjust hatred. Keep my soul and deliver me. Let me not be put to shame, for I have set my hope on thee. The innocent and the upright have cleaved unto me, for I waited on thee, O Lord. Deliver Israel, O God, out of all his afflictions. Have mercy on me, O God, according to thy great mercy and according to the multitude of thy compassions. Blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin, for I know my iniquity and my sin is ever before me. Against thee only have I sinned and done what is evil before thee, that thou mightest be justified in thy words and prevail when thou art judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities and in sins did my mother bear me. 
For behold, thou hast loved truth, the unknown and hidden things of thy wisdom hast thou made known unto me. Thou shalt sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be cleansed. Thou shalt wash me, and I shall be made whiter than snow. Thou shalt cause me to hear joy and gladness. The bones that have been humbled shall rejoice. Turn thy face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. <clears throat> Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Restore unto me the joy of thy salvation, and establish me with a governing spirit. I will teach transgressors thy ways, and the ungodly shall return to thee. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, thou God of my salvation, and my tongue shall rejoice in thy righteousness. O Lord, thou shalt open my lips, and my mouth shall declare thy praise. For if thou hadst desired sacrifice, I would have given it. Thou wilt not be pleased with whole burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit. A broken and humbled heart God will not despise. Do good, O Lord, and thy good pleasure unto Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then shalt thou be pleased with a sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and whole burnt offerings. Then shall they offer bullocks upon thine altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. When the women disciples of the Lord learned from the angel the joyous message of thy resurrection, they cast away the ancestral curse and elatedly told the apostles, Death is overthrown. Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Dweller of the desert, an angel in the body, thou wast shown to be a wonder worker, O our God-bearing Father John. Thou didst receive heavenly gifts through fasting, vigil, and prayer, healing the sick and the souls of those drawn to thee by faith. Glory to him who gave thee strength. Glory to him who granted thee a crown. Glory to him who through thee grants healing to all. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. O Theotokos, thou art the true vine who hast budded forth the fruit of life. We entreat thee, O sovereign lady, intercede together with the holy apostles that he may be merciful to our souls. Blessed is the Lord God, blessed is the Lord day by day. The God of our salvation shall prosper us along the way. Our God is the God of salvation. Holy God, holy, <coughs> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All holy trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. <coughs> Amen. The Lord truly set thee on the heights of abstinence as a guiding star giving light to the ends of the earth. O our Father and teacher, John. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour, receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulation, evil, and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that, guided and guarded by their host, we may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim, without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. 
In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. <coughs> Amen. O God, the Master, Father Almighty, O Lord Jesus Christ, Thou only begotten Son, and Thou, O Holy Spirit, one Godhead, one power, have mercy on me, a sinner. And by the judgments known to thee, save me, thine unworthy servant, for blessed art thou into ages of ages. Amen. Come, let us worship God, our King. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ, our King and our God. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ himself, our King and our God. Save me, O God, by thy name, and judge me by thy strength. Hear my prayer, O God, give ear to the words of my mouth. For strangers have risen up against me, and mighty men have sought after my soul. They have not set God before them, for behold, God helps me, and the Lord is the protector of my soul. He shall reward evils upon my enemies, utterly destroy them in thy truth. I will freely sacrifice to thee. I will confess thy name, O Lord, for it is good. For thou hast delivered me out of every affliction, and mine eye has looked down upon mine enemies. Give ear to my prayer, O God, and despise not my supplication. Attend to me and hear me. I was grieved in my meditation and troubled because of the voice of the enemy and because of the oppression of the sinner. For they brought iniquity upon me and in wrath were they indignant with me. My heart was troubled within me and the fear of death has fallen upon me. Fear and trembling came upon me and darkness has covered me and I said, who will give me wings like a dove and I will fly away and be at rest. Lo, I have fled afar off and have dwelt in the wilderness. I waited for him that should save me from faint-heartedness and tempest. Drown them, O Lord, and divide their tongues, for I have seen iniquity and strife in the city. Day and night it shall go round about her on her walls, and iniquity and sorrow and unrighteousness are in the midst of her, and usury and deceit have not departed from her streets. For if an enemy had reproached me, I would have borne it, and if one who hated me had spoken evils against me, I would have hid myself from him. <clears throat> But it was thou, a man of like soul, my guide and mine own familiar friend, who together with me didst make our meals sweet. We walked in the house of God with one mind. Let death come upon them and let them go down alive into hell, for wickedness is in their dwellings in the midst of them. As for me, I cried to God, and the Lord heard me. Evening and morning and at noon I will recount and declare it, and he shall hear my voice. He shall deliver my soul in peace from them that draw near to me, for there are great in numbers. God shall hear, and he shall humble them, he that exists before the ages. For there is no change with them, because they have not feared God. He has stretched forth his hand in retribution. They have profaned his covenant. They were scattered by the wrath of his countenance, and their hearts drew nigh. His words were smoother than oil, and yet they are darts. Cast thy care upon the Lord, and he shall sustain thee. He shall never permit the righteous to be shaken. But thou, O God, shalt bring them down to the pit of destruction. Bloodthirsty and deceitful men shall not live out half their days. But as for me, O Lord, I will hope in thee. He that dwells in the help of the Most High shall abide under the shelter of the God of heaven. He shall say to the Lord, Thou art my helper and my refuge, my God, and I will hope in him. He shall deliver thee from the snare of the hunters and from the troubling sword. He shall overshadow thee with his shoulders, and under his wings shalt thou hope. His truth shall encompass thee with a shield. Thou shalt not be afraid by the terror by for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flies by day, nor for the thing that walks in darkness, nor for the mishap and demon of noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou consider and see the reward of sinners. For thou, Lord, art my hope, thou hast made the most high thy refuge. No evil shall come upon thee, and no scourge shall draw near thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee to keep thee in all his ways. They shall bear thee up upon their hands, lest at any time thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt trample upon the asp and the basilisk, and thou shalt trample upon the lion and the dragon. For he has set his hope on me, and I will deliver him. I will shelter him, because he has known my name. He shall cry unto me, and I will hear him. I am with him in affliction, and I will deliver him and glorify him. With length of days will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. When the women disciples of the Lord learned from the angel the joyous message of thy resurrection, 
they cast away the ancestral curse and elatedly told the apostles, death, of, death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, dweller of the desert and angel in the body. Thou wast shown to be a wonder worker, O God, bearing Father John. Thou didst receive heavenly gifts through fasting, vigil, and prayer, healing the sick and the souls of those drawn to thee by faith. Glory to, the, to him who gave thee strength. Glory to him who granted thee a crown. Glory to him who through thee grants healing to all, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. As we have no boldness on account of the multitude of our sins, O Virgin Theotokos, intercede with him who is born of thee, for much more is the prayer of a mother able to incline the master unto kind-heartedness. Despise not the supplications of sinners, O all-pure one, for merciful and strong to save is he who condescended to suffer for us. Let thy compassions quickly go before us, O Lord, for we are become exceedingly poor. Help us, O God, our Savior, for the sake of the glory of thy name. O Lord, deliver us and be gracious unto our sins for thy name's sake. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. The Lord truly set thee on the heights of abstinence as a guiding star giving light to the ends of the earth. O our Father and teacher, John. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Thou who at every season and every hour in heaven and on earth art worshipped and glorified, O Christ our God, who art long-suffering, merciful, and compassionate, who lovest the just and showest mercy upon the sinner, who callest all to salvation through the promise of blessings to come. O Lord, in this hour receive our supplications and direct our lives according to thy commandments. Sanctify our souls, hallow our bodies, correct our thoughts, cleanse our minds, deliver us from all tribulations, evil and distress. Surround us with thy holy angels that guided and guarded by their host. We may attain to the unity of the faith and to the knowledge of thine unapproachable glory. For blessed art thou unto ages of ages. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. More honorable than the cherubim and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. The prayer of our most blessed Master, O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us. Amen. O God, the Lord of hosts and author of all creation, who in thine ineffable and tender mercy has sent down the only begotten Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, for the salvation of our kind, and through his precious cross has torn up the record of our sins and thereby triumphed over the princes and dominions of darkness. Do thou, O Master, who lovest mankind, accept these prayers of thanksgiving and supplication, even from us sinners, and deliver us from every dark and deadly transgression, and from all the visible and invisible enemies that seek to do us harm. Nail down our flesh with the fear of thee, and let not our hearts incline to evil words or thoughts. Rather, wound our souls with thy love, that ever gazing upon thee, guided by thy light, and beholding thee, the eternal light that no man can approach, we may offer up unceasing praises and thanksgiving unto thee, the Father without beginning, together with thine only begotten Son and thine all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen.
blessed Master. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the peace of the whole world, for the welfare of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house, and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Metropolitan Tikon, for the honorable priesthood, the diaconate in Christ, and for all the clergy and the people, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for the right reverend abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, with all his brotherhood in Christ, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Country, its president, for all civil authorities and for the armed forces, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy habitation, for every city and countryside, and for the faithful dwelling in them, let us pray to the Lord. For abundance of the fruits of the earth and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, by sea, and by air, for the sick and the suffering, for captives in their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, most pure, most blessed and glorious Lady. Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Unto the art to all glory, honor, and worship to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto each of us of each us.
most pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and each other and all our life unto Christ our God. Amen. 
and shall revile you and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. Wisdom, stand upright. Come, let us worship and fall down before Christ. O Son of God, who art risen from the dead, save us who sing to thee, When the women disciples of the Lord learn from the angel the joyous message of the resurrection, they cast away the ancestral curse, and then they delete all the apostles. Death is overthrown, Christ God is risen, granting the world great mercy. From thy youth thou hast loved Christ, O blessed one. Thou hast been an example for all by word, love, and spirit, and purity, and humility. Wherefore thou dost thou abide in the heavenly mansions, where thou standest before the throne of the O Holy Trinity. Holy hierarchy, God pray for the salvation of our souls. For God, bearing Father John, Thou wast revealed as a citizen of the desert, and angel in the body and a wonder worker. Thou didst receive heavenly gifts through fasting, vigil, and prayer, healing the sick and the souls of those drawn to Thee by faith. Glory to him who gave thee strength, glory to him who crowned thee, glory to him who through thee grants healing to all. My Savior and Redeemer, as God rose from the tomb and delivered the earth born from the chains, he has shattered the gates of hell, and as master he has risen on the third day. The apostle successor, the torment of the hierarchy, teacher of the orthodox church, pray to the master of all, grant peace to the world and great mercy to our souls. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord truly set thee on the heights of excellence, as a guiding star giving light to the ends of the earth. O our Father and Teacher, John. Now and ever and up to ages of ages, Amen. Steadfast protectors of creations, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cries of the sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us to call on the infant. Hasten to hear our petition and to intercede for us with the Otokos. For thou dost ever protect those who are thee. Holy art thou, O our God, and unto thee we send up glory to the Father 
and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever. Rather expose them, 
for it is shameful even to speak of those things which are done by them in secret. But all things that are exposed are made manifest by the light, for all that is made manifest is light. Therefore he said, Awake thou that sleepest, and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. See therefore that you walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Therefore be not unwise, but understand what the will of God is, and be not drunk with wine where it is debauchery, but be filled rather with the Spirit, speaking to one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. And to thy spirit the Alleluia in the fourth tone, Alleluia. Go forth and prosper and reign for the sake of truth, meekness, and righteousness. Alleluia, Alleluia, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, 
I charge thee, come out of him, and enter no more into him. And the spirit cried, and rent him sore, and came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said, He is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. And they departed thence and passed through Galilee, and he would not that any man should know it. For he taught his disciples and said unto them, The Son of Man is delivered into the hands of men, and they shall kill him, and after that he is killed, he shall rise the third day. At that time there followed Jesus great multitudes of people from Galilee and from Decapolis, and from Jerusalem and from Judea and from beyond Jordan. And seeing the multitudes, he went up into a mountain, and when he was set, his disciples came unto him, and he opened his mouth and taught them, saying, Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are they that mourn, for they shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, for they shall be filled. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall obtain mercy. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall be called the children of God. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before Constantina, 
Michael, Nathan, Peter Curtis, Evelyn, Elizabeth, Michael, Cynthia, Andrew, Mitred Archpriest, Anthony, Katie, Edward, and Nancy, and for all of our fathers and brethren, the Orthodox departed this life before us, who here and in all the world lie asleep in the Lord. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for mercy, life, peace, health, salvation, and visitation for the servants of God, Metropolitan Tikon, Archbishop Michael, Archbishop Mark, Bishop Alexei, Archimandrite Sergius and Gabriel, the Grubens Leontian Cyprian, Archpriest John, Stephen, <coughs> Alexander, John, Daniel, and John, for Hire Monk and Akenti, Priest Ignatius, Vincent, Michael, Paul and Michael, Hyredic and David, Monks Nicodemus and Kirill, Rossmore Monks Michael, Stephen, Stephanos, George, Paul and Michael, for Novices Andrew, Jeremiah, Puntalaman, Noah, Hezekiah, and Zechariah, for Subdeacon Martin, Readers John, Paul, Benedict, Richard, and Joshua, Nun Ioana, Rossmore Nun and Ufria, Matishkis, Kathy, Jeanette, Catherine, Dorothy, Alexandra, Abigail, Elizabeth, Amelia, Gail, Anastasia, and Rachel, for Mary, Judith, Anne, Patrick, Maria, Xenia, John, Anastasia, Eugene, Christopher, John, Anton, Katerina, Matthew, Matthew, Mickey, Jim, Eric, Earl, Michael, John, Olympia, and Christopher, for Jerusalem, Agnia, David, Mark, Olga, William, Kathleen, Natalia, Rachel, Korea, Martha, Constantine, Gordon, Brian, Nadezhda, Ogeria, Lydia, Ken, Romano, <coughs> Kathleen, Alexandra, Peter, Steve, Helen, Philip, Nina, Luke, Katrina, Donna, Cecilia, Priest Ambrose, Michael, Micaiah, Lydia, Matthew, Erica, Adrian, Angela, Colleen, Donna, Lorraine, Maria, DJ, Andrea, Alexander, Anne, Olga, for John, Kevin, Nathan, Lawrence, Mark, Angelina, Priest Joseph, Angelina, George, Maureen, Donia, and Priest Gabriel, for all the seminarians, faculty, administration, staff, alumni, trustees, benefactors, and pilgrims of this holy habitation, and their families, and for the pardon and remission of their sins. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Thank you, Lord, for all the good thou hast done for thy servants, and this holy habitation will continue thy mercy to thine unworthy servants, and grant us benefactors, help us build a new dining hall, true peasant for the monastics and community of this holy habitation. Pray thee, O greatly merciful Lord, hear us, grant this unto us, and show us thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. We pray to thee, O Lord, our God, have mercy upon thy servants, Bishop Alexei, Gumen Raphael, Babet, Elena, Ina, Archimander, Zechariah, Elizabeth, Reader Richard, Charles, Georgi, Carl, Pat, Tara, Nina, Jesse, Reina, Varus, Tina, Lorraine, Susan, Damien, Michael, Ekaterina, Priest Joel, Anton, Byron, Sherma, Noah, Alex, James, Romanus, Mary, Jeremiah, Jennifer, Salome, John, Eli, Gabriel, Pearl, Serge, Louisa, Themia, Cynthia, Anne, Child, Anna, Emma, Priest Philip, Anna, Joseph, Beverly, Lawrence, Amelia, Keith, Ariana, George, Matsushka, Michaela, Anastasia, Christina, Timothy, Archpriest Timothy, Reader, Kevin, Richard, Dasha, Panagioti, Anna, Barbara, Larry, Andy, Stephanie, Kathy, Richard, Kiana, Robert, Nick, Tara, Zachary, Vincent, Nicholas, that thy grace, compassion, fulfill their petitions, forgive all their sins, accept their prayers and alms before the throne of thy dominion, protect them from enemies, both visible and invisible. Delivering them from temptation, sorrow, danger, disease, and granting them health and length of days, let us all say, O Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Thou, by thy touch, and heal Peter's mother, thou, sick with fever, and ally, loving kindness, look upon thy servants, Archimedes, Gabriel, Zechariah, Sigmund, Leonti, Archpriest Alexander, Peter, Vasily, Yaroslav, Emilian, John, Dennis, Peter, Gregory, Nicholas, Daniel, Michael, Vladimir, David, for monks, Nicodemus, Kirill, Priest, Thaddeus, Sister Ioana, Mother Cassiana, Mother Vesna, Schema Monk, Anthony, Subdeacons, John, Seraphim, uh, Jonathan, for reader, Novice, Ezekiel, Matuska, Larissa, Melanie, Tamara, Gretchen, Kathy, Kathy, Mara, Julia, Anastasia, Catherine, for Peter, Glenn, Eugene, Bassam, Anne, Sonia, Ayel, Nicholas, Bezad, Mary, Nicholas. For Edward, Vincent, Nathan, Penelope, Zachary, Adrian, Ekaterina, David. 
Anna, Archpriest Patrick, Seraphima, Ellen, Novice Jeremiah, Frederick, Philothea, Nicholas Elizabeth, Nancy Lynette, Curry Martha, Peter Byron, Emily Ruth, Child Anastasia, Elizabeth, Warika, Maura, Juliana, Catherine, Kareem, Amy, Mary Ann, Allen, Gregory, Nina, Tran, Zachary, Peter, Lubov, James, John, Carl, Demetrius, Michael, Child Anna, Carol, Anna, Anna, Elizabeth, Monk, Trifon, Michael, Deacon, John, Elena, Susan, for Adam, Anthony, Jesse, Michael, Adele, John, Christina, and for seeing the loving kindness, pardon all their sins, by the volunteer and voluntary quickly raising them up from their bed of sickness, we beg you, Lord, hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for those who bring offerings and do good works in this holy and all venerable temple, for those who labor and those who sing, and for all the people here present who aid thy great and rich mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For thou art a merciful God who loves mankind. To thee we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Pray to the Lord, ye catechumen. Lord, Faithful, pray for the catechumens that the Lord may have mercy on them, that he may teach them the word of truth, that he may reveal to them the gospel of righteousness, that he may unite them to his holy Catholic and apostolic truth. Save them, have mercy on them, help them and keep them, O God, by thy grace. Bow your heads unto the Lord, ye catechumens. That they also with us may glorify the most honorable and majestic name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Catechumens depart, part catechumens, all that are catechumens depart, let no catechumen remain. Let us, the faithful, again and again in peace, pray unto the Lord. Lord mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Welfare of the holy churches of God and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord for this holy house and for those who enter it with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord that we may be delivered from all affliction, <coughs> wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Wisdom. That guard our earth, always by thy might, we may send up glory to thee, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages.
Washington, Metropolitan of all America and Canada, the Right Reverend Abbot of this holy monastery, Archimandrite Sergius, may the Lord God remember in his kingdom, always now and ever and unto ages and ages. The Honorable Priests of the Diaconate Christ of Monastics, this community, the seminarians, and faculty, the Board of Trustees, for all of our alumni, benefactors, and for those who help this holy habitation. May the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Present in this country, for all civil authorities, the armed forces serving everywhere, the sick, the suffering, those who need of God's mercy, all those remembered during this service, those whom we have in our hearts, may the Lord God remember them in his heavenly kingdom, always now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Your Orthodox depart this life before us, all those buried in our cemetery, all the newly departed and departed, brethren and benefactors, holy habitation, you and all Orthodox Christians. May the Lord God remember you to serve in the kingdom, always, now, and ever, and unto the Lord.
Jesus Christ, the Son, I am a God. The only begotten, begotten of the Father before all ages. Light of the true God of true God, begotten of me.
my body which is broken for you for the remission of sins. Amen. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Drink of it, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant which is shed for you and for many for the remission of sins.
congrats him for thy holy churches and peace take thee on our health and length of days rightly to divide the word of thy truth Turn his divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. That we may be delivered from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. That the whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Pardon and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. All things that are good and profitable for our souls and peace for the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. That we may complete the remaining time of our life in peace and repentance, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. Christian ending to our life, painless, blameless, and peaceful, and a good defense before the dread judgment seat of Christ, let us ask. Grant this, O Lord. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and each other in all our life unto Christ our God. Take us worthy, O Master, that with wholeness or without condemnation may dare to call thee the heavenly God as Father and to say.
compassions and love for mankind, and thine only begotten Son, with whom thou art blessed, together with thy most holy and good and life creating spirit, ever and unto the ages of the ages.
had brought us out of the bondage of Egypt, for he hath been glorified. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. O compassionate Lord, let thy holy body and thy precious blood be for the bread of life everlasting. The healing my manifold afflictions, cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Make me worthy to partake of thy most pure body and thy divine blood, O Christ, for I am wretched and unworthy to thought by unseemly deeds. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O bounteous land, O blessed bride of God, the one sown, thou dost bear the ear of grain that saves the world. Grant that I may eat of it and find salvation. Thou hast established me in the rock of faith. Thou hast opened wide my mouth against mine enemies. For my spirit rejoiceth in singing, none is holy but our God, and none is righteous but thou, O Lord. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Give me flowing tears, O Master Christ, to wash the filth from my heart. In good conscience, purify, let me come with fear, and faith to commune of thy divine gifts. Cast me not away from thy presence, and take not thy Holy Spirit from me. Let thy most pure body, thy divine blood, be the remission of my sins, O lover of man. Unto the fellowship of the Holy Spirit, life everlasting, and estrangement from passions and sorrows. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy table, the heavenly bread that came down from on high, for the sake of his mercy toward us, giving new life to the world. Grant me now a taste of him, and fear unto live. Of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Amen. What is this mystery in me? What is the principle of this mixture of body and soul? How can I be my own friend and my own enemy? St. John of the Ladder puts this question to the flesh at the end of the 15th step of the ladder. <coughs> and it is true that our embodiment is a mystery, full of bittersweet contradictions. Our relationships with our bodies are complicated. St. John says also that the flesh is a helper and an enemy, an assistant and an opponent. Our bodies are so often the cause of our stumbling, and yet they are our means of repentance. In today's gospel, the young man is a victim of a spirit that throws him to the ground, and makes his body rigid so that he cannot act and it stops his tongue so he cannot speak. And we're like this young man, sometimes burned in the fires of passion and sometimes drowned in the cold water of apathy. We're unable to change our condition and we need an intercessor. The Lord tells the apostles that the way to free this young man from his affliction is through afflicting their own bodies in prayer and fasting, humbling their minds with fasting and standing before God in prayer. And in this way, they demonstrate, and we all demonstrate in fasting and prayer, our relationship of total dependence on God. When we hold ourselves back from food, we acknowledge that it is the Lord who provides for us, and that he holds us in being entirely by his own power. In order to be effective in prayer, we have to come to the realization that our efforts to acquire things for ourselves are not what is essential to our continued existence, but instead it is God's generosity and providence that is present at each moment and with each breath. In prayer, we acknowledge this out loud, thanking God for these gifts and asking him each day for his mercies. Through fasting and prayer, we come to be masters of our own bodies, no longer thrown here and there by the stirrings of the passions. But even this isn't a mere mechanical result of ascetic effort. It is through the gift of God that our efforts bring forth growth in virtue. One of St. John's contemporaries at the monastery on Mount Sinai is that famous icon of Christ Pantocrator, the Almighty, the one having every power and virtue. And in that icon, we see the two halves of the Lord's face, which have contrasting features to show how he joins together our human nature with the divine. 
And this is the key to understanding our own struggle for virtue and the challenge of our bodies. Because even though the flesh has its own desires, that our enemies can turn against us, it is in our flesh that Christ meets us and raises us up to his life, which is the life of virtue, the life of the Beatitudes. This is Christ's gift to us, that in spite of our falls, our wounds, and our weaknesses, he makes himself present in his entirety to the entire human condition. Neither the grave nor hell could separate us, but the light of Christ illumines all. We strive to be like him by embracing the poverty of our nature, just as he embraced it. We find him when his light in us shows us our weakness, and when we allow him to fill those voids with the virtues that are his works. May he continue to work in us and raise us up to be with him. Glory to Jesus Christ. Supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mysteries to thine enemies, neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but unto the healing of soul and body. Amen. O God, cleanse me a sinner and have mercy upon me. Bojo Shistim and Hrisho i Pomilumia, O God, calls me a sinner and have mercy upon me.
St. Econ, Patriarch of Moscow, founded this holy invitation. Our Venerable Father John Climacus, and we commemorate this day. The only righteous ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, of all the saints, have mercy us and save us, for he is good and loves mankind. Amen. Glory to Jesus Christ. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord. We greet all of you on this fourth Sunday of Lent, the Sunday of St. John Climacus. This week is the fifth week of Lent. So, of course, we have the pre-sanctified liturgy on Thursday in the morning at 7 o'clock. I believe it'll start, give or take, a few minutes. And the great canon on Wednesday night. So it's, a, it's, it's, an in, it's in its entirety on Wednesday evening with the reading of the life of St. Mary of Egypt. So the whole service is about three plus hours. So uh, prepare yourselves. Uh, lots of water, maybe a granola bar or something, but uh, 4.30 on Wednesday evening. 
and 7 o'clock on Thursday morning. Coffee hour following the Divine Liturgy. All are welcome. We greet all of our guests, our visitors, especially Father Gabriel, who's visiting us from Holy Cross. He's the dean there at Holy Cross Hermitage, a monastery in West Virginia. So we greet you and uh, extend our best wishes to you and to your entire community. And glad that you're with us today. 11 will be immediately following the veneration of the cross. If you have names to submit, it will be for she is quick to hear. And I believe Father Mark will be taking care of the Malevin today, so just give him your names. Uh, we're reminded once again as we come into this season of Lent, we're already past the halfway point. And it's so interesting that it's only through our own weakness that we understand God's strength. It's not when everything's okay that, that that's when we understand who God is and what he can do for us. It's oftentimes when we're at our lowest points, the most difficult points, the most afflicted points that we can actually understand who God is and what he can do for us. So even though it may feel bad, it's good. And I know that's kind of a strange thing, but spiritual life is full of paradoxes and how to embrace both the cross and the resurrection at the same time. This is the task of the saints that they showed to us of how to live our own lives, that heaven and that hell, sometimes one day after another, one good day, one bad day, or even sometimes at the same time. A lot of times the saints are those who carry them both in themselves, both that height and that depth, in that one and the same person, in that one and the same time, showing us that they need to be reconciled, that something is transcendental above all of that, which is Christ himself, who is our life and our joy. So this life and joy is where we look to, to kind of transcend that teeter-totter of life, where we're up either high or we're low, the reality is Christ is always the answer. Prayer is the answer. And really that grace and that life that Christ gives to us and his joy, the resurrectional joy, is the answer. So this is our quest this Lent. Let us give thanks to God that no matter what we're going through right now, it's okay. We can do this. Everything will be fine. We continue to pray. We continue to ask God to help us. And in time, everything will work for good because all things work for the greater good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose. A couple of announcements. One is that there will be a movie tonight at the Seminary Gymnasium on St. Amphilochius. I think it's a premiere. Uh, so it's about 30 minutes and everybody is welcome to go down there if you'd like to. Families and friends to the Seminary Gymnasium or Convocation Center across the way, as it's now known. Um, I believe it's free and everyone's welcome. So it's a, it's a new uh, movie that was just recently done on the life of St. Uh, Amphilochius. And uh, after church each Sunday, the bookstore will now be open for a couple hours. So if you need to go down and get coffee or if you want to get a book or if you want to get something, uh, the bookstore will now be open for a couple hours after church every Sunday. So again, we greet you all. Let us give thanks to God because this is the will of God concerning us in Christ Jesus. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, our God, glory to thee, our God. Praise thank you, Lord, my God, for thou hast not rejected me a sinner, but has made me worthy to be partaker of thy holy things. I thank thee, for thou hast permitted me, the unworthy, to commune in thy most pure and heavenly gifts, but to a master who lovest mankind, who for our sakes did die and rise again, and gave us these thy dread and life-giving mysteries. For the good and sanctification of our souls and bodies, let them be for the healing of soul and body, the repelling of every adversary, the illumining of the eyes of my heart, the peace of my spiritual powers of faith unashamed, the love unfeigned, the fullness of wisdom, the observing of thy commandments, the receiving of thy divine grace, and the attaining of thy kingdom. Preserved by them in thy holiness, may I always remember thy grace, and live no longer for myself, but for thee, your master and benefactor, passing from this life in the hope of eternal life. May I attain to the everlasting rest, where the voice of those who feast is unceasing, and the sweetness of those who behold ineffable beauty, thy countenance is unending. For thou art the true desire and the ineffable joy of those who love thee, O Christ our God, and all creation sings thy praises forever, amen. O Master Christ our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion of thy most pure and life-giving mysteries. I therefore pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection beneath the shadow of thy wings. Enable me even to my last breath to partake worthily and with a pure conscience of thy holy things for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. And to thee we send up glory, 
with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou heart of fire, consuming the unworthy. Let me not be consumed, O my Creator, but instead enter into my joints, all my members, my reins, and my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgressions, cleanse my soul, and sanctify my reasonings, make firm my joints and bones. Illumine my five senses, and nail down the whole of me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify, and adorn me. Give me beauty, understanding, and illumination. Show me to be the dwelling of thy spirit alone, and not the dwelling of sin. May every evil deed, every carnal passion, flee from me as from a fire, as I become thy house through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner of the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother. Accept their prayers and thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant a child of light. For thou art the only sanctification and brightness of our souls, O good one, and to thee, O Master and God, do we send up glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, and thy precious blood my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me, who am a sinner, worthy to stand at the right hand of thy glory, at thy dread second coming, through the prayers of thy most pure mother and of all the saints. O most holy lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy, I thank thee, for although I am unworthy, thou hast made me worthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and precious blood of thy Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart, thou that gavest birth to the true light. Enliven me, whom deadened by sin, thou that gavest birth to the fountain of immortality. Have mercy on me, O loving Mother, the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings, and make me worthy even to my last breath to receive uncondemned the sanctification of the most pure mysteries for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession, that I may praise and glorify thee all the days of my life. For thou art blessed and greatly glorified forever, O men. Lord, now let us, thou thy servant, depart in peace according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, a light to enlighten the Gentiles and the glory of thy people Israel. <clears throat> holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us, O Lord, cleanse us from our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, now and death into the ages of ages. Amen. A grace shining forth from thy lips like a beacon hath enlightened the universe, and has shown to the world the riches of poverty, and has revealed to us the heights of humility teaching us by thy words, O Father John Chrysostom, to intercede before the word, Christ our God, to save our souls. <clears throat> Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. From heaven thou dost receive the grace of God, teaching us by thy words to worship the one God in Trinity. We worthily praise thee, O blessed John Chrysostom, well pleasing to God, for thou art a teacher revealing things divine. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. Steadfast protectress of Christians, constant advocate before the Creator, despise not the cries of us sinners, but in thy goodness come speedily to help us who call on thee in faith. Hasten to hear a petition to see for us, O Theotokos, for thou dost ever protect those who honor thee. Lord have mercy, 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 Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen more honorable than the cherubim, and more glorious beyond compare than the seraphim. Without corruption thou gavest birth to God the Word. True Theotokos, we magnify thee. In the name of the Lord, most blessed Master, bless. 
through the prayers of our most blessed Master, Lord Jesus Christ, God have mercy on us.